Hi everyone, I'm Justin Tate, one of the ninth grade counselors here at Rocky, and today we're gonna to talk about our block schedule. So Rocky has what's called a four by four block schedule, and what that means is that our school year is divided into four quarters, and each quarter lasts about nine weeks, and students have four classes each quarter. And students will go to their four classes every day for 90 minutes each until the end of the quarter. And because students are going to their classes for 90 minutes every day, classes on our schedule are gonna be completed in half the time of a traditional seven or eight period a day schedule. Um, so at Rocky, elective classes, as you can see up here, are completed in just one quarter. And core academic classes like biology or English nine, they're completed in just two quarters. So grades are final at the end of every quarter. A final grade of 60% and above is considered passing, and each class in a quarter is worth five credits if it's passed with a 60% or above at the end of the quarter. And then final grades at the end of each quarter are put on the student's transcripts. So um, since each class in a quarter is worth five credits, this means that students can earn up to 20 credits each quarter and up to 80 credits over the course of a year. Lastly, grades start over at the beginning of each quarter. And so at the start of quarter two, grades, are, grades start over and this student will go to these four classes every day for 90 minutes until the end of this quarter. And then um, at the end of quarter two, those grades are final and put on the transcript. And if the student passed these four classes um, at the end of quarter two, they'll get five credits for each of these four classes. So hopefully that makes sense. That's Rocky's four by four block schedule. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Mrs. Flowers who's gonna talk about some advantages and common concerns of our block schedule. Hi, I'm Ms. Flowers. Um, one advantage that we have for our block schedule is students can double up in a year if they're really interested in a subject. So if you remember from the last slide, that student must have really liked science because they had biology and earth system science in the same year. You can do that with math, you can do that with foreign language. So there's different areas that you can double up and kind of advance in um, throughout your time here at Rocky. Another advantage is that students um, can earn up to 80 credits in a year. And so that makes it possible to graduate after really just three years, technically, because you need 240 credits to graduate. Another advantage is we have a common lunch for students. And so um, other schools with, with um, seven or eight classes sometimes have um, two different lunches, but the common lunch allows for clubs to meet during that time. It allows for students to see really any of their teachers for extra help because they won't be teaching other classes during that time um, and possibly getting some tutoring help as well. And then we also have 87 minute class periods. And so this allows teachers to go deeper into content um, and it allows more time for students to do some work in class, ask questions and get that extra help. And they can really focus in on those four classes. We also have fewer transitions during the day. So again, if you have seven or eight classes a day, you're spending you know, five minutes between each class going just two different classes. And that takes a lot of time throughout the school day. Whereas here they really, other than lunch time they really just have two transitions and they're about eight minutes each so you're spending about 16 minutes a day transitioning versus maybe 40 50 minutes a day transitioning a few concerns that people um, have or questions they have is um, you know if you miss if you're sick if you're out um, you know if you miss one class period it is like missing two class periods um, at a school where you would have seven or eight classes a day and so it's really important to work with your teachers if you can communicate ahead of time that you're going to be out if you're sick maybe email that morning and see if there's any work that you can do that day um, to stay on top of things and of course see your counselor too if you need help with that and then another concern we, that people ask about is you know there's can be so much time in between certain classes so if you were to take spanish one first semester freshman year and then you didn't have spanish two until second semester sophomore year that's a good chunk of time off in between those classes. But I will say, you know, other students are in the same boat as you, and our teachers understand that there is a lag time sometimes in between students taking different classes. And so they're prepared to do review and to help get you up to speed on those things. So those are some advantages and disadvantages of the block. We can't wait to welcome you to Rocky.